welcome back guys. Uh, have another mod to do the Navi. Last time you guys saw we did a horn. Um, that works great. Jesus Christ. Um, and now we have the scooter swap shop slash MNNTHBX LED swap for the front headlight that we'll be doing right now actually. So just like the last mod, if you guys watched the horn Navi video, we will be replacing a stock component with an aftermarket component. Um, this one will be replacing the stock halogen headlight with an aftermarket LED headlight. I picked up this conversion kit from ScooterSwapShop.com. They sell just about anything and everything from mopeds, mini motors, and scooters. Like usual, we will have to be taking the storage box out. There's a bolt on this side and two bolts on this side. Again, there's another one down there and another one up here on this perch. Slide the box out so we can gain access to these bottom screws. And uh, I think I might have to take both plastics off as well as the seat. So I'll throw in a time lapse of me doing that. Plastics are off. All we have left is this little Phillips head screw right here. And then you can go ahead and access your battery with your fuse box that we're looking for. There she is right there. Once you take both sides of the plastics off, you don't need to take the left side of the plastics off. I just do it for space and so I can see everything. So ignore all these wires. These wires are just all my, you know, my, my custom lighting and stuff like that. You only have to worry about this little skinny fuse box right here. It's located right next to, there's a metal one, a plastic one, and then there's this really, really skinny one right next to this big piece right here. So a lot of people say to just take this out with a Phillips head, but there's a reason that this, is, this has a clip right here because all you do is pull this clip back and it just pulls right up. You don't even have to do that. And then rotate it so there's going to be a black, maybe a little black thing right here. You're going to ignore this set of wires underneath the sheathing. You're going to look. Now, I already found it and I already marked it with the little red dot if you can see it. It is, if you come on this side and you're on the right side of the, of the motorcycle, with this clip facing towards the front, this, this white clip facing towards the front of the motorcycle, you're gonna go ahead and tilt this and you're gonna see two red wires with a black stripe. You are going to splice into the wire that is on the leftmost side. People have said the right side. Um, I think they're just saying it reverse just so people can understand it if they weren't doing it the way that they were doing it. Let me go ahead and show you the plug that they give you in the kit to splice into this and we will be very much on our way. So they give you two different ends to this. They give you just an end that you can splice into. The copper is actually cut back a ways in there. And then this spade end will actually feed into your, um, there's a little box on the right side of the bike underneath kind of the gas tank battery box area. This is where this will go. So we're only gonna worry about this side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little splicer and you're gonna go ahead and feed these wires through. And when you go ahead and clamp on down, it's gonna send this blade through into both these wires and it will make a copper connection. And then you'll have electrical current going through if you do it correctly. Oh my goodness, okay, cool. <laughs> it just broke it. But, um, so there's the wire, and I could not get it to stay, so I just hard soldered it in, and I'm gonna cover it up, make it look nice, and then go ahead and attach it to that wire, and then we should be good. There should be no more flicker, and the light should come on without the bike being um, operational. It should, as soon as you turn that key, tail light and headlight should both come on, so. Awesome, so once you go ahead and do that, you will be looking for this little unit right down here. It should be identifiable by the green clip and the blue sheathing over it. All you're gonna do, pull this down, unclip it. So this comes out, 
gonna go ahead and flip this sheathing inside out to expose all the wires that are leading up to this plug. I'm gonna be turning this from an alternating current to a direct current. But so just take these brown wires, it goes through this top column, which is technically the bottom right. And you're just gonna take something and you're just gonna, well, pretty much poke it out because you can't, it's not gonna fit with the rest of them going back into this, this module up here. So you pretty much have to pop this, this marrying point right here out. So you can just go ahead and connect this. As far as the wire goes, you're gonna go ahead and feed this through this little hole right here where the battery cover doesn't reach. Cool. One eternity later and everything's good. So I spliced it, sealed it off. Everything's good for that circuit, reconnected it down, fed it up and through and it goes down and the plug is good. Those two brown wires, everything came out great. Go ahead and seal those up with electrical tape real quick so they wouldn't touch this metal and short circuit. This is just gonna go ahead and float there for a little bit cause it's gonna be fine. And then everything should pretty much go back together. But real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and put the two bulbs in and then we'll do our little light difference test on the garage door. All right, so you have your rear tail light bulb. Uh, contrary to popular belief, you can touch these with your fingers. It's not a big deal. With a halogen bulb, you would wanna watch out because the oils will heat, superheat the bulb and then you'll blow out the, the, the filament inside of it. LEDs don't exactly have that issue. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take this gray piece and you're gonna turn it to the left. You're gonna hear it click. And then just go ahead and pull that bad Larry out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and press down and over. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this on the ground for you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, so you go ahead and align this. These two divots on either side. Press down. There we go, boom. And then you pretty much start with the left, turn it right, and then you go ahead and turn the Navi on. And there we have it. Holy moly, that actually is a little bit brighter. You want to take this headlight off. It's going to be four Phillips screws. Cool. And then on the bottom, there is that eight millimeter for the headlight lens, but I'm gonna show you that you actually don't have to take that out because it doesn't do anything. It just, it just rotates the, uh, the headlight shell in and out. You see that? So it allows you to point the beam up and down. So you're gonna go ahead and pull the bottom of this, snuggle it out a little bit, and then just pull it out and it will pop off that tab without breaking it. And still done with the eight millimeter on the bottom. Go ahead and take this plug, kind of boop it out like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Light test and comparison. This will show three different common bulbs placed against each other commonly bought for the Navi. For the sake of getting this as accurate as I can, all light measurements will be taken from the exact same spot marked by a red dot on the pavement.
can hear the motor in there and everything. So as far as beam pattern goes, because you don't actually have to start the motorcycle anymore, you kind of just, it just comes on with the key. So darkness, and then just a wave of light. And the high beam is noticeable, look at that. So if you compare it with the other LED beam, it's like night and day. Like, look at that. I actually have a field of vision almost two feet, three feet higher. And it's actually like, it's a consistent bright beam too, so. I mean, part of this mod is the tail light. So, oh yeah, I would say it's immediately better than, than stock. Go ahead and press that brake light for me. Just press one of the brakes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's ex keep pressing it. Hold that down. Yeah, that's, and let it go. Yeah, you can see all the way to the cars in the back. And this headlight's just ridiculous. Look at that, it's just, it's just a wave of light. And you can hear the motor too. So that's that little motor and the LED light, I'm trying to keep it cool. So 